Standard of care. If you ask a doc, how often do you clean your stethoscope, you will get an answer like, oh, in about 30 or 40% of patient encounters. And then if you ask, in the cases where you do clean your stethoscope, how do you do it? They commonly say, I rub it with an alcohol swab. Unfortunately, self-reporting isn't very accurate when everybody knows the stethoscope is a pretty good vector for the transmission of disease. Nobody wants to claim they do something wrong all day long. We recently published an observational study in the American Journal of Infection Control, the purpose of which was to find out the facts on stethoscope hygiene. For this investigation, we surreptitiously watched 400 patient medical provider interactions where the staff didn't know they were being watched in high-risk hospital environments like the ER, the ICU, and labor and delivery. No, as in none at all, stethoscope hygiene was performed before the patient encounter in 82% of the examinations. This is disgusting. And even when stethoscope cleaning was performed, it almost never met CDC cleaning guidelines. Ultimately, only 4% of the stethoscopes were clean in a guideline-compliant fashion. Unfortunately, the standard of care is to rub dirty, contaminated stethoscopes on our patients. This is because there has never been a system that efficiently provides a clean stethoscope. It's not a call for a large investment in stethoscope washing, as others have shown that even guideline-compliant stethoscope washing is not effective at limiting pathogens. A disposable aseptic barrier that completely prevents pathogen transmission represents an opportunity for the medical community to improve patient safety. A septoscope is the solution for the current standard of the disgusting, dirty stethoscope. I'm Frank Peacock, emergency physician, Baylor College of Medicine, Houston, Texas.